we should definitely use a ratio table to solve this question. Uh, the only annoying part is that we're given uh, one third of the tank versus seven ninths of the tank. So they're using different denominators for those two fractions and we want to use the same denominator because it's the same tank. So the least common multiple of three and nine is nine. So I would just use nine ratio units to represent the tank. And then I would say that of those nine ratio units, it was already three ratio units full to begin with, because one third of nine is three, so three ratio units full, and then that went up to seven ratio units full out of a total of nine ratio units for the tank. Now we're told that those four ratio units increase map out to n, and we want to know what would nine ratio units map out to. Now nine ratio units is just a bit more than twice, four ratio units. To be more precise, we could say nine ratio units is exactly nine fourths as much as four ratio units. By definition, that's what a ratio means. So nine ratio units is nine quarters as much as four ratio units. So if the four ratio units are n, nine ratio units would be nine fourths of n. So it looks like the correct answer choice here is D. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.